There's a lot of talk about the latest trends in technology in the submerged arc process, especially the variable balance AC. Today I'm going to talk about direct current DC and alternating current AC, specifically variable balance AC, and how to use the variables to tailor the weld to meet your needs, whether they be deep penetration, reduced heat input for improved mechanical properties, or to increase deposition rates. DC current is a traditional waveform in a wire-fed process. The current always stays positive and never crosses zero. This is DCEP, electrode positive or reverse polarity. Because the current never crosses zero, it is more susceptible to arc blow when compared to AC current due to the magnetic fields of DC current, especially in a deep joint. DC electrode positive is most commonly used. It is simple and is the foundation of submerged arc welding. A DC arc provides the deepest level of penetration and is most beneficial in square butt joints or on thicker material. In some applications, this deep penetration may be too much. For example, in a root pass or on thinner material. And when higher depositions are desired, it may be difficult to maintain a low heat input. AC is a great option to consider for addressing these limitations of DC current. AC is alternating current, which means crossing zero from electrode positive to electrode negative. The slope when crossing zero is steepened to stabilize the arc. This is known as square wave technology. There are three main benefits of welding with AC in the submerged arc process. The first is to reduce the chance for arc blow. The alternating polarities help reduce the chance by breaking up the magnetic fields in the material. The second, in tandem or multi-wire applications, AC is used to reduce the chance of arc interaction with the arcs in close proximity. Finally, increasing deposition can be done using AC current. We can use a higher percentage of electrode negative to get more deposition at the same current or to get less heat input at the same deposition. This is where the variable balance AC comes into play. We can select the amount of electrode positive to tailor the weld to your needs. We can go from a DC electrode positive as shown earlier, where we achieve the most amount of penetration, to an 80% electrode positive and a 20% negative. The percentage of electrode negative will focus the energy of the arc more on the wire, requiring more wire feed speed for the same current or less current at the same wire feed speed. Typically a sacrifice in penetration is seen with more electrode negative. I will show two demonstrations to illustrate this. The first, I will show how AC can decrease heat input at the same deposition. I have four programs set up, all with the same preset values of 32 volts and 90 inches per minute in our CV weld mode. In program one, we have DC electrode positive, resulting in about 615 amps. In program two, a 70-30 balance, resulting in about 570 amps. In program three, a 50-50 balance, giving us about 515 amps. And finally, program four, 20-80 balance, resulting in about 475 amps. At the same wire feed speed, we saw a gradual reduction in heat input, about 140 amps, which equates to just under 16 kilojoules per inch. In this second demonstration, I will show how AC current can increase deposition at the same heat input. I have four programs set up, all with the same preset values of 600 amps and 32 volts in our CV plus C weld mode. Program one has DC electrode positive, giving us a wire feed speed of about 85 inches per minute. In program two, 70-30 balance, giving us about 95 inches per minute. In program three, there is a 50-50 balance, resulting in about 115 inches per minute. And finally, program four, the 20-80 balance, giving us about 130 inches per minute. In this case, we maintained the same heat input and saw an increase in deposition as the wire feed speed increased about 45 inches per minute total. This is about a nine pound per hour difference using our Hobart solid wire. In both demonstrations, I was able to change programs on the fly without interrupting the weld. This is especially beneficial when, when welding pipe or rolling large vessels where multi-passes are required at different settings. 
On the Miller Subarc, we offer 12 different AC balances in addition to DC electrode positive and electrode negative. These selections allow maximum benefits of the variable balance while maintaining simple and easy to use operation. With Miller's Subarc Digital Series, we offer both DC and AC options to give you the deep penetration and the simplicity benefits of DC, as well as the, the flexibility of the variable balance AC. For help determining the best setup for your subarc process, whether it be equipment or filler metals, contact Miller or Hobart to find the best solution for your application.